So what's up? It's always me, Johnny, and today is gonna be a short video because today we are going to talk about playing games on the new M1 chip. Um, in specific, uh, we are gonna play and we are gonna test uh, Counter-Strike on the new MacBook Pro M1 that I have right here. It's the version with the uh, eight gigabytes of RAM and 256 of storage. So it's gonna be a quick video. So I hope not too boring and I hope you enjoy it. Let's go to the video. So as I said before, we are gonna try and test uh, Counter-Strike Global Offensive. It's an old game as we all may know right now and it's actually fully supported on the standard MacBook, so macOS in general and also is supported, is fully supported on this new chip too because what you have to do to play this game because now it's, I think it's some years that free to play so you actually can just download Steam and install CSGO on your Mac uh, right now and test it yourself. I want to do these tests because uh, CSGO is still one of my favorite games for competitive because before I was playing competitive in FPS shooters so I've played a lot of CSGO and also other FPS games I was playing before in FPS arena if someone knows uh, the genre but anyway I just want to test it because right now it's still played by um, many people so um, somebody who wants to buy these new Max are maybe interested to play this game too and so I'm going to test it with all the resolutions and also with all the standard settings and high settings and low settings so I'm gonna show you some clips that I recorded with the Mac uh, while I was playing, while I was testing the game. So actually you have to consider just a few things. The most important it's just the game is running to uh, Rosetta 2.0 so it's actually not native on the M1 chip and so the performance are not maybe the best or maybe are not at uh, their best on this device. And also I was screen recording with the Mac so actually there was like a little bit of an impact on the performance side but anyway the performance were good before talking about that I'm just gonna tell you a few things that you're gonna need to run CSGO on your M1 chip or M1 devices so the first thing you need to do before you run uh, CSGO you have to go in the properties of your Steam and just set uh, some launch options because the game will run in some strange resolution and so you have two options so one is this one that I'm gonna tell you right now and the second one if you just play on a second monitor you probably uh, won't have this problem because the resolution is gonna be good on the second monitor but if you are playing on the device monitor that is a 13 inch I don't know if you want to play just tried right now to play on 13 inch monitor CSGO but um, it's not it's not very good so I don't recommend to do that but anyway if you want to play on the device monitor you have to go as I was saying in the Steam properties of the game so you just right click on the game on Steam library and you just go for the launch option and you have to set like a lower resolution for your monitor because otherwise the game is starting at a strange resolution and you can just see all the buttons on the screen so it's very strange but it's an easy fix so you can do that in just two seconds anyway when you start your game you're gonna see that your performance will be good as you can see right now the FPS of my gameplay is not too bad because also at the maximum settings that I've tried on this device I'm getting around 30 FPS so it's not too bad I mean it's not enough to play CSGO like you would but uh, it's enough to just train with some bots or maybe to just try the game on this device to play something but as you lower down your settings not the resolution you just put the game in low settings everything on low you have around a little bit more of 30 fps that is like more playable you can see it it's more fluid but it's not enough too so from my testing the best resolution to play this game if you are like an old player like me and you like to play in 4x3 so with the black bars on the sides um, the best resolution I think is 1024 by 768 so 
there is a strange resolution it's like a very bad resolution i mean you can see the pixels on your screen but that was my first resolution on cs and so i'm used to play on that resolution but if you want to still play on screen ratio of uh, 16 by 10 you can easily play like at 1400 by 900 is a good resolution for uh, 16 by 10 or also you can do this one that i'm showing right now is a good mix between the two so you can try that also it really depends on you on what resolution you are used to and also i repeat if you play on a second monitor it depends also on the size of the monitor one thing that i can say for sure it's like you don't need to play on the native resolution of this macbook pro because it's a uh, too high resolution it doesn't make sense to play csgo on that resolution also you can see on the lower resolution i've just kept the lower settings on the game but actually you cannot see it very well on the video but actually when i was playing the game wasn't too fluid i mean you get 30 fps and more with the lower resolution you get like around 100 fps or maybe more and also in game you got more than 100 fps but the game it doesn't feel like very smooth it doesn't feel like very fluid i don't know why if it's a problem of the translator we can say so the rosetta 2.0 I don't know if it's that, if it's uh, Steam, if it's the fact that the game is not actually optimized for the M1, but you can feel it that it's not very smooth the game. So it's actually somewhat uh, painful to play the game because if you are used to play CSGO at the classic like uh, more than 200 FPS now because as I said before at the beginning of this video, the game is very very old right now so you could probably run it like at 100 fps on your phone too so if you are used to that fps it doesn't feel the same i don't know what it is but it's actually not that smooth so you can still play it i mean it's playable but the only thing i repeat if you are used to that kind of smoothness of csgo it's not the same so you can try it right now if you have an m1 mac right now just try it and let me know down in the comments if you feel the same but i'm guessing uh, you will feel the same as me but anyway let me know down below then while i was trying like uh, different resolutions uh, different settings playing some deathmatch some workshop maps i was just playing for about like half an hour maybe a little bit more and for the time that i was playing the device didn't get too hot it was like a little bit warm and i could just barely hear uh, the fan inside that it was spinning but at a very low rpm so it was just barely helping to dissipate some heat from the inside but it wasn't make any noise i swear this laptop don't make any noise with the fan inside if it spins it spins very low you can never hear it also i've tried to put the laptop um, close to my ear but i didn't hear anything and also on this topic as I said in my previous video, I will do just a video about all this noise and temperature topic. So if you are interested too, just subscribe right now if you haven't already and you will not miss that video. It will be very interesting and actually I will tell you something that probably you didn't even notice. It will be interesting. So subscribe if you haven't already. So to end the video, I just want to say that I know the gameplay was bad, but as I was saying before, I was just playing on a 13 inch screen, so I can't even see anything. And actually, the performance were good, but uh, we have some stutter in the gameplay, so I didn't have that smoothness of CSGO that we all know. And so, I'm sorry about the gameplay. I mean, it was just to try the games, but when they will maybe some days optimize CSGO for the M1 chip. I will play again and maybe I will do a better gameplay for you, I promise. <laughs> well, I've said that this was a very short video, but I think it wasn't uh, too short. So I'm sorry about that too. <laughs> and thank you for taking your time to watch this video. I hope it was like somehow useful to you if you wanted to play like CSGO on these new Macs. And also one thing that I have to say is that uh, I like also Valorant because I was playing also Valorant after CSGO because it's like the same game pretty much and actually there is no way 
for now to get uh, Valorant running on the on this system. It's mainly because we have a problem to run the anti-cheat system and so the game doesn't run but I hope it will be fixed in a short time. If there are some news about Valorant I will keep you updated for sure because I'm very interested too so I will let you know as soon as I know something. But anyway thanks again for watching this video subscribe right now if you haven't already and hit the like button if you did like this video and nothing see you in the next video bye for now